Hey everybody, I hope everyone's having a great evening or morning or day wherever you're at in the world. We're going to do a video about CompuFoil. And CompuFoil is the software I use to design my wings and stabs. One of the things I want to touch on first is intimidation of new programs. You know, I've done an awful lot with AutoCAD and Fusion 360 and back in the day I worked a lot with uh, 3ds Max 5. So I feel pretty comfortable with these softwares, but when I got this one, I was so intimidated and uh, it was for nothing because after a while, I pretty much figured it out. So we're gonna dive into the, how CompuFoil works. Now, this does look extremely intimidating and believe me, I probably only know half of what this is capable of doing, but I've designed some pretty kick-ass wings with this. So one of the first things that you normally wanna do is you want to gener generate ribs. Now, what I'm going to do here is first open up uh, a file that I've already worked on, and this is a uh, 777, a, a Boeing 777 wing. And if you notice this wing here, it has a little bit of a jog in it here, and I'm still trying to figure out if that's to scale. The drawing that I pulled it from showed it having the little jog in the wing right here, but I'm still verifying this. But if you look at this, this is technically three different panels. This first piece right here is a panel. Right here is a panel, and right here is a panel. And what that means is if I go up to here and I hit generate ribs, you'll see it says panel one, two, and three. So the first panel length is 20.9 inches. Now th this is a 200 inch span wing. So this is a monster wing. So right here you got the panel length. You've got um, basically what sweep you wanna have. And the angle of the wing is 34 degrees, at least what I took from the AutoCAD drawings. The inboard cord, which is the length of the rib, is 50.25 inches, and the outboard cord is 36.16. But keep in mind, that's only for this first panel. If I go to the next panel, which would be this small part right here, you'll see that it's only the, the panel length is only 8 inches. Okay, The sweep is still 34. The inside cord is 36.16, which is the actual outside cord. If I go to panel 1, is the outside, so those will match, okay? And if you don't understand what I'm saying, you can go back through the video and watch it a few times and you'll understand. So, and then the, the third panel, which is the outboard panel, this panel is 78 inches um, long. This is the long panel uh, out here. The outside, in, I'm sorry, inboard cord length is 31.75, which is the outside of the middle panel. So if we go to the outside, you'll see 31,705, and this one is 31,705. And then the very outboard tip cord is 8.3 inches. Okay, so I'm, right now you're looking at those three panels. If we wanna look at the way the ribs, and keep in mind, I just started designing this the other day. So I don't have all of this figured out yet. Um, there'll of course be shear webs between these top and bottom spars, but this is just, you looking at it right now, what all the ribs would look like if you printed them out, okay? So I want to though start fresh for a minute and I wanna show you when you're going to generate, generate a wing and we're gonna create just a very simple um, wing here. So the panel length, let's say, is gonna be 36 inches. It's gonna have uh, right now no sweep the inboard and outboard cord is eight inches. That's just default. I'm gonna pick an airfoil here. So you click this button right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go find me an NACA type uh, airfoil. So, um, hang on a minute. So right down here, you see the different airfoils. Now, if you want, you can draw your own airfoils in this, and I've done that a lot. But these are different airfoils that you can use. So let's say I'm gonna use for the inboard this 0015. And for the outboard airfoil, I'm going to use the, uh, a smaller one, uh, just because we're gonna play around. Okay. Hit okay. And now I'm going to say uh, number, oh, I need to say how many ribs I want. I'm gonna say eight ribs just because we're playing around here. I'm gonna hit okay. So now we're looking at the ribs. Now notice there's no spars, there's no nothing in here. If I go to the top view, we're looking at just a wing. 
okay? Just a plain old wing. So um, this is normally where most people get to feel like, okay, I'm, I'm starting to draw a wing. Now keep in mind, the way you see this wing right now is uh, it, you can actually pick how thick the skin's gonna be. But if you were gonna hot wire a wing right now, you're basically done. You could print out the two end ribs, this rib and the end rib here, and you could um, cut those out and then do use hot wire and make your wing. Okay, but let's say you wanna put a spar in it. Okay, so now I'm gonna click up here to spars and I'm going to reference the leading edge. I'm gonna make that um, about four inches back. I want the uh, root spar width to be 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and I'm gonna hit apply. And you see the four inches is too far because I forgot we don't have a big wing here. So I'm gonna put 2.5, hit apply. So you got my spars there, gonna hit okay. Gonna go into the top view, and right here you can see my spar going through the wing. And actually I forgot to do the tip of the spar right, so my spar tapered to nothingness. So go back in the spar, need to go back down here, go to the tip, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, gonna hit apply. And now you can see my spar going across here. If we look at the, um, template again, you see where the spar cut out. So right here, I can hit generate DXF. So I could export this as a DXF. Now, if I wanted to create some lightning holes in it to make it lighter, I can click lightning holes. Uh, I'm going to say 0.5 inches and the radius is going to be 0.5. Let's just see what this looks like. And hit OK. And I did that wrong. Oh, hang on a minute. I need to close this. Go up to lightning holes and 0 0.5, 0 0.5, apply, and it didn't work. So what am I doing wrong here? Start with rib, rib one. Maybe I gotta go bigger diameter. This is such a small wing, I'm just playing around here, everybody. Or I'm way too big. Okay, that's set all. Apply, starting with rib one, ending with that. Oh, let's see, common ribs, both ribs take on. I've never drawn a wing this small, so I'm sorry, everybody. I'm probably messing this up and it ain't working. Uh, let's go 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Okay, yep, I was too big. I've never drawn a wing this small, okay? So I'll go 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Hit apply. Okay, there's my lightning lightning holes. So hit okay. So now if I wanted to print this, that would be this little bitty wing, which is an eight inch cord by 36 inches. It's kind of funny, I've never built a wing that small. But if you're gonna build a small little fun electric, this would be the way to do it. And now if you wanted to go into 3D and see what it looks like, you can see what it looks like right now. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Okay. Now, one thing to keep in mind, though, you can do all kinds of things with this. You can create your uh, around leading edge. Um, you can put your leading edge stock in it. You can uh, build, uh, put building tabs on it. Hang on a minute. Let's put building tabs on it real quick. And I want to put it on the nose, and I'm going to put two. That's way too big, way, 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 way too big. See, I've never drawn a wing this small. Isn't that kind of funny? Um, let's go 0.5 and see what happens. So see that I'm just not doing that right. Let's do it even smaller, 0.25. Yeah, I'm doing something wrong right here, trying to build the building tabs. See, I've never drawn a wing this small. Isn't that a trip? Um, oh, it's not letting me do it right now. Yeah, this wing's too small, everybody. So let's do zero and hit cancel. Hit OK. So normally with the building tab, you can have it on the front and back. Hang on, it should work. Let me see what I'm doing wrong here. I was actually elevating the whole thing there so you could hot wire cut it, so I was doing it wrong. I should edit this out, but I'm not. 
So hit apply. Okay, there's my front building tab, leading tab. So I want to do a trailing edge one, hit it. And the thing is, is now you've got a building tab that when you build it on your uh, workbench, it will make sure you're building a straight wing. And you can actually build the washout and everything into that. So now what I want to do is I want to go into some wings that I designed and talk about how I did them, okay? And I'm sorry about some of this funky stuff because it's been a while since I've built one with building tabs. So let's, I'm going to show you the MSL2 wing. And it was a very complicated wing I designed. Let's go into 3D for a minute. So when I designed this wing, I wanted to really kind of have an idea of a vintage wing, and hopefully in the upper right-hand corner over here, I'm showing you pictures of what the wing looked like as I was developing it. But this wing was really interesting because right now you see it's all hollow right through here, okay? But when you look at the end here, you'll see that I had set up a um, basically a point for a wing tube, for a joiner tube. So what I did was once I transferred this into AutoCAD, I drew a block around this right here, which basically closed the lightning hole off into two areas here. So I in AutoCAD is where I edited that, okay? And then we're going all the way out to the wingtip here. Another thing you need to understand is like right here on the right is where my ailerons are. Once I'm into AutoCAD, I would then edit this and put my ailerons into it. I don't put my ailerons in when I'm in this program. But this was probably one of the coolest wings I built. Down here, you can see where the aileron actually is. But, you know, I had to edit that in AutoCAD. So let's look at the horizontal stabilizer I did for the MSL2. And um, so this is the horizontal stab. And hopefully in the upper right-hand corner over here, I'll be showing you some pictures of what that looked like. And this just gives you an idea, everybody, of what this program can do, okay? And believe me, there's only so much I've done with this because I'm only getting to know it well enough to get it into AutoCAD. So I have not spent a massive amount of time learning everything this, this program can do because I just don't need to waste the time. My whole point of using this program is to generate um, ribs, so I can print, uh, I print out on a piece of plotter what the rib looks like. I cut it out. I use some 3M adhesive to stick it to the balsa wood or plywood. I cut it out with my bandsaw, and I end up with a bunch of kick-ass ribs. And then I build the airplane. So, um, but this gives you an idea of exactly what the horizontal stab looked like on the airplane. And... Uh, and I think pretty much that's the wings I want to show you. I probably should have had a bunch of other stuff loaded. But I'm going to do a more in-depth video in the future of this when I actually design a wing. And uh, you can watch it or you can go do something more fun because sometimes designing this is very frustrating. And sometimes it's really, really simple. But one of the things that you really need to be able to master is basically building a very simple wing. And let's go back through that again. So to build a very basic wing, you're gonna to go to generate ribs. You're going to say how long your panel is, and I'm gonna put in 36 inches. You're gonna say how many ribs do I want? Um, you could say by spacing. Spacing is I want them every four inches. Uh, I'm going to, if I, you know, you, you can do your dihedral in this, you can do everything. But right now I'm just going to do, um, okay, let's sweep it just, um, 10 degrees and uh, the cord's going to be 8 inches. We'll leave that. Let me go find a thin NACA rib. Uh, yeah, that's pretty, that's almost like a jet rib or something. Hit OK. Going to do that again. Okay, and hit OK. There's my really thin ribs. If you look at it from plan view, there's the sweep. Now keep in mind, if I wanted to go in here and make the tip only four inches, now I've got that taper. 
One thing about this program that is absolutely kick-ass that I've seen a lot of people do is build glider wings. This is absolutely a cool. So let's only put a two degree angle in this. And um, you know, you can do some really neat glider wings. Let's look at this 3D real quick. So we don't have a trailing edge on there. I don't have any spars either. But um, I just love this program, everybody. I know there's other programs out there that people uh, do design their um, wings in. But for me, this has been the simple, simplest. This is about $39 or $49 and you own it forever. Uh, I know some people think that's expensive. For me, I've had it over 11 years, I think now. And um, it's been one of the most valuable things I've ever had. Now, if you did want to generate your own rib, you can come over here, hit generate NACA. And here you can start messing with all your different airfoils. And you can go crazy with this stuff. I've done it. Um, but you know, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Um, you know, I'd say almost all the wings I designed for slow and low stuff is almost like a Clark Y, something like this. You can, um, you know, really get some really high, uh, lift wings and stuff. There's all these different modifiers. You can, you know, all the different, the six digit NACA, whatever you want to design, you can design it here, people. I mean, it's really just that simple how you design wings so i didn't save that now you could have saved that and then went and inputted it into your design so i'm trying to keep this kind of as a short um quick little video everybody and i hope you find this informative i know i went through this really quick i don't like to have really long videos but they always end up being like that and um rock on everybody i hope you enjoy this and um when I go to design uh, the seven, uh, the triple seven wing, where I really start to lay out where, you know, the way the spar is going to work so that it can attach to the fuselage, I'll take this and export it as a uh, DXF. I'll take it into AutoCAD and we'll start editing it and you'll get to see. So keep in mind the stages of me designing a wing is I first on paper come up with my, my wingspan, the cord, uh, uh, length of the cords of the ribs. I come up with the airfoil I want. Then the next step is I go into this and I generate a wing. The next step is I export this as a DXS to AutoCAD because in AutoCAD is where I can edit in and create ailerons or the cavities for landing gears, my flaps, and all of that stuff. So, um, and then believe it or not, from there, I go into Fusion 360 to see if the parts fit. And if all the parts fit, then I'm normally ready to start building something, cutting out parts. So thanks for watching my videos, everybody. Do me a favor, please subscribe and like my videos. I'm trying to build up my um, all the people following me. My goal is to have 10,000 people follow me. I know that's not big. It's definitely not, you know, like a uh, One Direction following, but uh, I'm just trying to get more followers, everybody. Rock on, have an awesome night, and be safe. Cheers, everybody. Bye.